Alright guys, so I just uh, got this new game in the mail today and I thought it would be an excellent way to test out this camera and see if it will focus and if the audio is working correctly uh, using a headset with it. Uh, so uh, let's just take a brief overview of this Kickstarter game called uh, Clever. This was a project run by a guy named Jason Santa Maria. Uh, it was a pretty well done project. Uh, unfortunately, like most Kickstarters, it did miss its intended launch date of April, but uh, three months out is actually not that bad for a Kickstarter. Um, so, uh, just going over the components, uh, let's, let's get to it. Uh, first thing I noticed is uh, the weight of the box is pretty hefty. It's, it's a deck of cards, but uh, between this outer box and the inner tuck box, which you'll see in just a second, uh, there is a fair bit of substance to this and it feels good uh, to hold and it's nice and shiny, it looks good. You can kind of, let's see if I can get that again, that reflection from the light, there it is. Gives you an idea of how shiny uh, the, this box is. Uh, very colorful, looks good. Uh, it's got the Kickstarter logo down at the bottom. Uh, on the back, it gives you kind of an overview of what the cards are. Now I've got the reflection when I don't want it. Can we focus? Focus. All right. So uh, as you can see, it asks, what do you see? Uh, if you look at these cards, there are a lot of different elements on it, uh, be it letters, numbers, colors, visuals. Uh, those are the four uh, big categories, and there are different ways to, to use each of them. Um, now it should be stated that I've not actually been able to play this game or any of its variations yet. Uh, I've just read a little bit of it and uh, what I know uh, from having seen it on a Kickstarter page, uh, but it is very intriguing. I do know it's based off of Rummy initially, but uh, there is a pretty, a pretty active community uh, around this game that are coming up with uh, many, many different variations of it. Uh, at clevercardgame.com. So let's go ahead and pop this open and check out the inside. Uh, as you can see, it's nice and uh, thick cardstock. Um, in fact, it feels feels a little poofy even, uh, but not in a fragile way. Uh, and the shiny covering goes all the way to the inside. So. Uh, I like that it actually flips around the corners, it, or the edges. It doesn't end at a corner. It goes all the way around. Nice touch. Very nice touch. So here we have the instruction booklet. Um, I kind of, I like this minimalist design. It's, it's very, uh, very clean. Looks good. Uh, it's a 16 page instruction booklet. Uh, obviously you have a table of contents to begin with. So I'll work on the orientation. Uh, as we move along and make some more of these, it's a test run anyway, so orientation and focusing are not necessarily expected to be fantastic this go around. So on the first page, you get a breakdown of the various elements that you may see on the cards. And surely we can focus a little bit. Come on, camera. Come on. Okay, well, there we go. You can make out uh, 12 different colors, and there are 12 different uh, categories down here as well. Um, and this is a little frustrating with the focusing, but hey, there we go. You can see ball, bird, body part, electric, fruit, and so on and so forth, and six each in those categories. Over on the next page, you can see how some of those categories are used. Uh, such as the color match, category match, letter or number match, uh, creating a sequence, spelling a word, and creating a math equation. Uh, again, I can't give you examples of how to use those exactly, um, but you may use some or even all of those depending on which variation of the game uh, that you'll play. Uh, next up, some examples of how to create sets in some of the versions of the game. Uh, same on the next page. And then we have four different variations uh, included in the instruction booklet. Again, 
clevercardgame.com, you can get more variations, plenty more. I, I, I think I read there are 70 plus, possibly more by now. So Clever Rummy is one that's included. That's probably going to be uh, very similar to your standard Rummy game, aside from your the ability to be, well, clever with it and create unique sets of three. Uh, speed, which is based off of the standard deck game, I believe. You have Tic Tac Took, which uh, I very briefly read through this this one out of curiosity. Oh man, I gotta get this figured out for next time, guys. I really apologize about the focusing issue. All right, uh, it is uh, Tic Tac Toe essentially played in rounds, uh, and it's point based. It's not just a single round thing. So uh, pretty cool deal. I think I skipped one here. Ah, yes. Three, uh, from my understanding, is, is one of the original games uh, created using this deck. Um, and based on the comments from Kickstarter, one of the most popular as well. Practice, practice makes perfect, right? We'll figure this focus thing out eventually. So that's the instruction booklet. Uh, again, useful, but a huge resource at the Clever website. So looking inside the box, um, got the tuck box in the center. Uh, around this uh, inner holster, kind of cool little touch actually. You've got the Clever supporters here at the top, and then you can see all along the side and underneath the deck, uh, it's a list of names of people that uh, pledged a certain amount or um, otherwise have contributed to the creation of this game. A uh, cool little touch for them. So that's that. Uh, here's the tuck box. Again, pretty high quality. Uh, of the tuck box, not the camera focus, obviously. Uh, you can kind of see there again the reflection. It is the same shiny type of coat and finish as the other box. If I move this out of the way, that might help. Yeah, and I think it did. So uh, this is your standard card deck stock, um, but still sturdy. What I really like is that uh, this game was uh, overfunded close to about 200% of its $8,000 goal. Uh, at the $15,000 mark, the plastic card stock was unlocked. So all of these are plastic cards. Um, well, you can't hear that, but let's see if I can get it close enough to my mic. Love the sound of that. Uh, plastic cards feel great. They have a uh, great durability. They're going to last many thousands of rounds. Um, they're a lot more tolerant to, to being bent and to just bouncing back flat. Uh, not going to get marred or scratched very easily. And they, they just shuffle amazingly. Good, crisp, easy shuffle. And they slide right off of each other. I uh, love, love, love the quality of these plastic cards. So let's take a look at a couple of, of these. We can get a little spread going on. We can. No, that's probably not going to work with this setup. I'll work on that too. Lots of notes to take in. Uh, Put to use in some future videos. So here we have a the tennis ball, um, which has, as you can see, several of the elements. Uh, each card is going to have the the color, the letter or the number, uh, the name, and a visual on it. So if you can imagine uh, taking Rummy as an example, having a, this three card. And trying to come up with uh, with some other sets. Let's see. Here's a three. And what else do we have in here? Uh, 
Well, it's 1 through 10 twice, so 3 is probably not going to work numerically. But, thinking outside the box, well, 3 plus 3 equals 6. Now, it's a little tough to see. 3 plus 3 equals 6. That's a valid set in this game. Likewise, you could have started with 6. Let's go this way. That makes more sense. Start with 6. Minus 3 equals 3. Uh, that's also a perfectly valid way to set things up. Um, color. You can see a guitar is tan, and the hand is tan, and the blowfish is tan, um, and any of the other myriad of ways of putting together those categories that we're seeing in the instruction booklet. Uh, the artwork on these cards, obviously very, very diverse. Um, so there is the the blowfish. Come on. For what it's worth, I'm just as frustrated with this as anyone else who may be watching right now. There's the blowfish. You can kind of see it. Um, man, that's frustrating. Should be catching that. If I just take this card box and move it completely out of the way. This is what I get for relying on autofocus. How about this? Gonna work? Gonna work? Sort of, kinda. Okay. So let's let's try a different one. Another animal. Hummingbird. No. No look there either. Okay. Well, that that's probably a sign that uh, this isn't going to go anywhere quickly, but uh, hopefully you, you get an idea of uh, at least the potential of what could happen with a game like this with, with such diversity. Here's a letter in harmonica. Sure, why not? We'll try it again. Nope, not so much. So I will work on the orientation of this uh, this camera setup color, purple, grapes. And uh, I probably won't redo this, this video uh, just because it was designed as a test. Um, but uh, I do plan to get this video situation figured out. Um, hopefully, uh, I'll have some other games that I can actually sit down, do a proper unboxing, components overview, and playthrough on. Um, the whole goal of this long term, if anyone out there is interested, is to uh, do some playthroughs, uh, give some feedback on, and just generally get some content out about uh, solo board games. Uh, I've noticed it to be a uh, pretty sorely lacking um, area as far as card or as far as board games go and card games for that matter completely open uh, to to either one um, I love sitting down and playing with a group of buddies just as much as anyone else but at the same time they're not always available so uh, I've been kind of on a crusade so to speak uh, to find some interesting games I, I've just picked up uh, some older ones uh, called Made One's Mage Knight, which uh, many people are probably familiar with at this point. So, but it's new to me, so that'll probably be one uh, that's checked out pretty soon. And then uh, there are some micro games off of Kickstarter, like uh, Province and um, uh, Harbor. It's one that'll be out later this year. And I'm pre pretty curious to get my hands on and uh, give a rundown on... Um, so I hope to do that. Hopefully there are some people out there that are also interested in the same thing. If anyone has suggestions, ideas, uh, feedback, or just wants to uh, 
complain about the quality of the the camera work in this video, which I would completely understand and appreciate, uh, go for it. I will be I will be happy to uh, respond to any comments, and if I have the means and availability, um, would love to investigate some games. If anyone has suggestions for solo games in particular, uh, again, that's the uh, thing that I would really like to focus on uh, in the near future uh, with uh, with some video series. So thanks to anyone who was watching. Uh, thank you Jason Santa Maria for uh, creating this uh, beautiful little game. I'm excited to play it. I hope some of you guys out there are too.